Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to appeal if your Instagram account has been disabled for violating the Instagram terms. As you can see, your account has dis has been disabled for violating our terms. Learn how you may be able to restore your account. So you follow the steps to get to the end to be able to restore your Instagram account. Even if you follow these steps and you are not able to get a solution, I will still help you or I will still be able to provide other solutions that could help you get back to Insta. Okay, so you click on learn more. When you click on learn more, um, it will take you to this page where it will tell you that uh, we suspended your account. Uh, 180 days left to appeal or will permanently disable your account. Then it goes down to what this means. Your account is not able to... Uh, it's not visible to people on Instagram right now, or, and you can't use it. You cannot use it. What you can do, you have 180 days left to appeal our decision. We may need to collect some information from you that will help us review your account again. Why this happened? Your account or activity doesn't follow our community guidelines. Now, let me uh, let you understand. The reason why sometimes they restrict account is when you violate the terms. And when we talk of the Instagram terms, in fact, I will leave the, the, the link to the Instagram terms in the video description. But basically, the Instagram terms means that um, one of it is a spam. If you try to follow a lot of people at the same time, it is con it considered a spam. You try to comment a lot at the same time, it's considered a spam. Then we have fake account. Fake, that's also another one that they used to, uh, one of the major things they used to suspend accounts. For example, um, you already, um, let's say you already have an account and you are trying to create another account that has almost the same information as the first one. They may see it as spam, okay? Or um, you have two accounts that is having similar information but different date of birth. In fact, if they try to detect, if you have, if, if you are creating a fake account, and they try to detect, they will flag that account. And they will ask for your information to make sure that the information on the account actually tallies with your real details. That is why when you are creating an account, I always advise people use your real name. The part for personal information, I'm not talking of the, the details of it, if it is your business, but I'm talking about the part for your personal information, like your name, your name, first and last name, your date of birth, use the correct information. If not, if you submit an ID card and it doesn't match, they will permanently disable it. The phone number, if you if your phone number you're on Instagram, you can use your phone number to create up to five accounts. But um, just make sure that everything you are doing is legal and you are not doing anything fraudulent. If you also try to send a, 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 a spammy messages or nudes or other things that are against the Instagram terms, they will disable you. Then if you also violate the copyright infringement policy, copyright or uh, um, what do you call it? Trademark infringement. You use someone's pictures to post. You see that Instagram on Instagram is difficult to copy images or videos. And if you are able to go and then copy someone's image or video, you use other softwares to download them and you will go and post it, which uh, there are a lot of some trademarks. Facebook and Instagram has uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, um, technology for detecting if you violate trademarks, especially if you are running advert and you like running advert for branded content. When I say branded content, products like Gucci, um, Nike, um, Louis Vuitton, and especially if those products are not the original from those countries that manufacture them, but let's say they are from countries like. China, Turkey. I'm not saying China and Turkey are producing fake products, but some of them, because most of the uh, the products I just mentioned, if it is coming from China, most of the time, it, you have 90, 80 to 90 percent chance that it's not the original. So when Facebook detect that it is not the original, they will disable or suspend that account. So you click on appeal. When you click on appeal it will take you to this next page where you'll be told that your account was violated, disabled for violating the terms. So when I say for violating our terms, so when you click on our terms, the terms of service, terms of use, you will see all the details of the terms. They said, we received a report from a person or company that 
the content you posted infringe or otherwise violate the legal right, as I just told you, copyright or trademarks, repeated behavior infringing or violating a third party's legal right, impersonating of a company or organization or another entity, repeated content, repeat posting content that otherwise violate our terms. So that is what I just explained to you. So they're saying, please know that once the account is disabled, you will no longer be able to log into it or otherwise you will not be able to review it. If you believe your account was disabled by mistake, uh, please fill out this form. To learn more, please review our terms of use and community guidelines. So you click here to see the terms of use and the community guidelines they're talking about. So um, when you click on fill out this form, it will take you to this place where they said this form uh, is for people whose accounts have been disabled due to repeat intellectual property violation or for sharing fraudulent or misleading content. If your content was disabled for any other reason, you may receive a response. You may be able to find more resources. So click on I understand and wish to continue. You put your name and uh, your, 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 your name and send in your first and last name, your email address, content at uh, issue. If you have the link to that particular content, if the link to your Instagram account is in instagram.com slash username, please enter username here. So you enter the username, then please explain why you believe your con your content should not have been removed. So you can fill that form, and then at least you indicate why your your content should not be removed. That is for those whose content are removed and maybe the account is further dis disabled. So you put it there, and then after that you will see there is a button below that will, you can click to submit. Then when you submit, it will get to something like this. We are reviewing your info. It usually takes us around a day. We'll notify you when the review is finished. If we can confirm your info, you'll be able to use Instagram again. If you can't, your account will be permanently disabled. And then you can click on done. Now, um, the process or the steps you see here may not be the same for you because the thing is that um, the accounts are different, different. The violation, if this, if whatever this account violated is not the same as what you violated, the questions or the form you may be asked to fill may be different. But you just have to read and be following. When you follow it and you read and you fill the form, submit and explain yourself. My account is disabled, and I, I'm, I'm told I my account violated the Instagram terms. But after taking a critical review of the Instagram terms, I can see and I can confirm that I didn't violate any of these policies. I am sure and extra sure this is the mistake that your system might have made. So please review my information and reinstate my account for me. If I made any mistake too without knowing, please reinstate my account for me. I don't have any evil intention to violate Facebook, uh, Instagram policies. Please reinstate my account and it won't happen again. So you will write that and submit. Within 48 hours, normally you will get a response and when you follow it and you don't get a solution please leave your comments in the comment section you can follow the whatsapp link in the description to whatsapp us you can follow our website link to our website to look at all the options we have available if you may need to buy uh, any of our services or other our advertising um, our training services and all that or if you want to book for our zoom meeting we will help you to get all those services. Thank you once again for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more other powerful videos. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.